so uh, due to its effectiveness copper cabling is one of the most often used materials in many industries and copper cabling covered with polyvalent chloride pvc in solution is chosen for its flexibility hardness and conductivity for each copper cable covered with a PVC in solution is chosen electrical cables with flammable in solution materials are widely used in many filets such as automotive, building, renewable energy and networking. Individual wires are worn into strands that are called into a cable. During operation, the cables are subjected to cyclic axial and the bending loads, which cause microscope movement of the individual wires against neighboring wires, resulting in freighting corrosion. That interaction uh, of freighting corrosion and the cyclics cause in the initials and propagation of uh, cracks that lead of fire. The plan of our presentation begins with experimental setup and testing result uh, and uh, discussion. And the last one is conclusion. Design of equipment. This section presents the test approaches and the rope construction. Examining the effect, effectiveness of virus cable termination techniques for polyvalent chloride copper cables of various diameter is the goal of the experimental effort in this research. Essentially, each, each geometrical and mechanical characteristics could have an impact. For the experiments in this study, a cable consisting of two materials was chosen. The first one is copper conductor with the Young's models of 120 megapascal and the fish coefficient of 0.34 of the copper geometry. And the second is copper cover made of PVC isolator with the mechanical qualities of 3,275 megapascal for Young's models and fish coefficient of uh, 0 0.32. It is composed of two carbons based in 57% uh, cells and 33% uh, ethylene. The data are uh, grouped in table. And about the test uh, abrasion, how uh, it works. The abrasion resistant test is used to monitor the degradation of the sample to cable fraction. The sample is subjected to abrasion where for a specific number of fraction cycles. The amount of fraction will depend on the type of sample. Abrasion can be measured by visual inspection and can also be measured by the loss of mass of the sample. An abrasion test is performed using a 1.5 meter cable, the end of which is connected to the positive pole of the machine, a negatively charged blade of move it back and third over the cable with a force of uh, seven newton and the stroke length of uh, 26 millimeters. It stops it automat automatically when it uh, touches the conductor as soon as the abrasion has worn down the insulation and the number of seconds needed to reach the conductive part of the cable are measured. And the next uh, test uh, extraction. Traction tests were performed using a traction machine with the capacity of uh, 357 pounds for the cable, along with a force sensor of 2 kN for the strand and 3.5 kN for the spacement. These tests were used to assess the major mechanical parameters of the cable and the components, conductor and insulation. Due to the conductor's 
tiny diameter, the resistance of the conductor was measured by canceling out 10 millimeter of the cable length in the middle using mandrels that resemble machine hands and amount of 500 millimeter of cable must be used for the test to be valid the traction machine contains uh, dis uh, displacement cell and the force cell which is mounted with the upper morning of the mobile crossbar which moves at a fixed and constant moving speed according to a gate without any play for the machine models until the spaceman breaks the machine is under the direction of a computer which enabled the digital acquisition of force and displacement data the results show the influence uh, influence uh, of the nature of the country body on the corrosion the dynamic of particle of insolution uh, and the, the wear rats during the brain this the movement of the blade applying force of seven newton on the pvc explain the link between the thickness and insolution and its durability present the abrasion test results for four cables with different geometry showing the numbers of seconds of the abrasion test a function of time the development of the coefficient of friction for various contacts in solution thickness and the dry friction persimmons without impact was examined in this study along with the effects of insolution geometry on Fraction and were an abrasion test. The coefficient of friction first traces quickly at steady speed as the test duration increases, peaking at roughly 0 0.664 when a blood exerts a 7 Newton force on the insolution. However, the maximum coefficient of friction of up, approximately uh, 0.569 finally of the coefficient of uh, friction varies smoothly between 0 0.537 and 0 0.569 for the seven strand cables and from the 0 0.632 to 0 0.664 for the 45 strand cables. As a result, the type of insolution at its thickness might be used to separate the evolution of coefficient of fraction experiments. All the coefficient of uh, fraction results are summarized in the few, which clearly show that the the thickness plays an important role in the time dependent friction coefficient after the abrasion this we move to the microscope examine it to visualize uh, uh, the effect of friction on the samples that were taken at different locations to see the abrasion region of the cable, the microscope is focused on the sample's damage area. The wear crater observed in this study's optical microscope investigation related that PVC abrasion was always the uh, abrasive wear. The tests were performed and the depth of the crater they left behind was greater than the PVC's thickness. Scanning electron microscope was then used to conduct it or prove investigation and the, the look of a vision of PVC was noted. Dimensions inspections and cable selection requirements for each application, including the range, average stress, and the length, on the other hand, are related to the wear machine uh, mechanism these elements 
collectively have an impact on fatigue behavior. Different geometries were being examined for this process, the founding of experiments conducted. Amply all that the other was destroyers is the first step in the filer mechanism of copper wear rope. According to the tensile covers for copper cables, the displacement raises as the number of uh, wear decreases and the force raises as the, the diameter and number of wires increase. This work analyzed the results, abrasion, and chancel tests on samples of copper cables covered by PVC to order the, to examine the copper cables protected by PVC. It was necessary to make a complete study. Thus, our work uh, was focused on the abrasion testing for the resolution and the tensile testing for the evaluate the life and quality of the material as well as its durability. Uh, firstly, regarding abrasion is in the experimental parameters of the stable pressure abrasion test. The coefficient of friction increases despite the velocity being informed. The hardness of the solution does not have a significant influence on the values of the coefficients of friction, which remain in the same range between 0.5 to 0.7. Not the importance of the number of abrasive seconds, which gives values as a fraction of time. That explains uh, that increasing the thickness of the PVC gives a large number of seconds as a function of time. Secondly, there is the tractions. The difference in where a line has a great impact or the bending chancel performance of the copper world. Thank you for your attention.